Hey you guys, it's Karen A here and welcome back to another video. It is early in the morning, I think we're about 8.30 a.m. on January 21st. Um, this is the start of a new vlog. If you are new here, um, thank you for tuning in and I hope that you stay and enjoy. And if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so, so, so very much. Thank you for sticking with me, rocking with me, and continue to um, stay with me during my journey. Today's video is going to be the start of my fitness vlog. Um, <clears throat> I mean, fitness vlogs. Um, doing a fitness journey. Um, today is going to be day one. So I ordered a bunch of groceries from Kroger and um, I'll show you those later. Right now we're about to weigh in. Um, I'm going to weigh myself and I'm going to prop y'all up so you can see it. So I haven't eaten anything or drank anything for the day. Well, I did have a sip of water, but that's okay. Because um, I know it says to weigh yourself on an empty stomach. So, and it does say after you use the bathroom, but I mean, it's okay. So we're going to weigh in. I'm going to prop y'all up and we'll see how much we weigh and what we're going to be setting for the goal. Um, I am going to take some progress pictures not on camera but i will show you those at the end of the journey or throughout the journey if i do see any um changes i think i'll do like weekly updates um and then i'm going to be doing a lot of shorts daily just to show you guys what i'm eating but um yeah i'm going to be doing some shorts and if you want to know like the foods and stuff the the recipes ingredients stuff like that That'll be in the vlog. Um, the shorts will just be like a little short snippet of what I'm doing throughout the week. So, um, yeah, we're about to weigh in and let's see what the numbers are looking like. All right, we set up the scale. We're going to step on it to make sure it's zeroed out. Okay, it is on zero. 209.9 Hey you guys, so I just got finished taking my progress photos So I'm about to put my groceries away I'm about to prop y'all up while I grab them and sort them And basically kind of talk to you for a bit about what I picked up And what I plan on making um, for this week For week one Um yeah, so let me go get the groceries. They're over there by the door, and I'm going to put y'all on the tripod. I found another tripod. This one is a lot shorter, so I don't know if the, if it affects the sound quality because my hand is not holding it, so it should be fine. But anyways, um, let me go get the groceries. Kroger's grocery order. <laughs> I got some rye pumpernickel bread, some um, Sunday syrup sugar free, Hershey syrup sugar free, some great tomatoes, Celsius. Another Celsius tropical vibe was this peach vibe. Some bananas. And these are very green. More Celsius. Some tuna. Hellman's mayo. An onion. Another white onion. Two romaine tomatoes, two box of little bites brownies, everything bagels, vanilla chai tea, some 
some Mexican shredded cheese, American singles, cream cheese, Greek yogurt, Olipop, tropical fruit punch, another one, another one, and another tropical fruit punch. Some Colby Jack shred of sliced cheese. Some mozzarella sticks. Asian style chopped salad. Baby spring mix. strawberries. Ooh, these are big. That's a big, giant strawberry. Whoever did this order did a good job. <laughs> Everything looks good. Seedless lemons. Uh-oh. Cucumber looking kind of shady. One cucumber. Blueberries. Giant blueberries at that. Avocados. Two apples. And that is it. Hey you guys, so I'm done with the um, grocery haul. I'm about to put this groceries away. I just wanted to pop on here to kind of give you a little rundown about what's going to be coming up. Um, like I said in the last couple clips that I'm going to do a fitness journey, I showed y'all I weighed myself. I took my fitness pictures and I did order some healthy um, options for food. I'll be showing y'all my recipes, um, different things that I make, exercises and such like that. I'm also going to be doing the regular content that I planned on doing, which is like fashion, beauty, and um, pretty much uh, counseling TED Talks kind of. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but those are what's to come for the videos. But right now, I'm going to focus on my health. Um, as you know, um, I just had two deaths in my family. Um, diabetes is very, very high in my genes, both sides, mother and father. Heart disease, um, kidney disease, liver disease, and amongst obesity. And I've been trying um, for a really long time to make sure that I um, lower my factors so that I do not deal with those um, risks. Um, they are very high because, I mean, they're in my genes, you know, so, I mean, it'll be very easy for me to probably um, end up with one of those um, conditions. So anyways, for the last, I don't know, 10 years, I've been trying to make healthier choices. Um, just about five years ago, I think I um, kind of had a little slide. Um, and now I gained a lot of weight. My weight has packed on. Um, I gained most of my weight back um, during COVID. Um, I always was pretty small, um, ranging from 125 pounds to 165 pounds um, for the majority of my life. However, right to my high, my highest weight was 200, and I want to say it was 232 or 33 pounds, and I had never ever been that big. Um, wearing a size 2X, I'm only five foot four and a half um, on a good day, and. Um, I've, I've noticed a difference in my body. My body is not made to be this size, so I've been trying um, little um, meals and diets and stuff to get my um, weight down. I haven't really been focusing on exercise as I should, but I'm going to be doing a combination of the two um, now. I weighed myself, if you guys seen, I am 209, which is the results of um last year i went on a fitness journey and i was i think it started off like i said 232 or 230 230 
and I got my weight all the way down to 205. Um, since I guess August, I have gained 10 pounds, but I just was sick with like food poisoning, so I think that's why um, I'm back down to 209 because I think it was 214 then, and that was like a week and a half ago. So, anyways, that is the gist of what's going to be going on. I am going to be using a weight loss supplement that I had got from a doctor. This is a prescribed and controlled substance. Um, it's really hard to get just because um, the the adverse effects of this is not the greatest. I've been using it on and off for the last uh, year and a half and um, I haven't been consistent with it, but it has worked. And so these are the remaining pills that I have left. I'm going to finish them because I paid for them. Um, I have 22 pills in here, so that's going to be about 22 days, or it could be 25 days, depending on if I have the pills. Sometimes if you have the pills in the beginning, it makes it easy for you to kind of get used to the side effects of this medication, which can be dizziness, jitteredness, um, dry mouth, very bad cotton mouth, um, sometimes restlessness, insomnia, um, tingling sometimes. So those are the things that I've noticed being on this medication, but like I said, I paid for it. I'm going to finish it because I need it, um, you know, to help, sorry about that, to help with the weight loss. So yeah, this is called Phenamine. Um, my name and stuff is on here, so that's why I'm holding it like this, but I will show y'all. It's not a really big pill or anything. Um, it's a very small pill. Um, it's a dotted pill. It has like blue, little blue dots on it, and it is scored so you can half the pills. Um, hold on, let me set y'all up. So, this is what the pill looks like. It's a very small pill. You just take one a day. Um, in the beginning, some people take half a pill, so they would cut these two in half, and you would just take a half a pill for like the first four days, and then kind of wean, um, slowly like, uh, not wean, but um, merge your way into um, taking a full pill so that you wouldn't have the side effects as bad. Um, cause some people it's hard to first start this medication cause it makes you kind of feel a little crazy. Um, if you have high blood pressure, you are not a candidate for this medication. Um, it does accelerate your heart rate. So if you have high blood pressure or, um, you know, some, um, issues with your heart rate, uh, it's probably not going to work for you. But, um, yeah, so that is what I'm going to be taking. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I will talk more as I make the videos. I'm going to put my groceries away because they've been out for some time. And then I'll come back on here and I'll show y'all what I'm making for breakfast. Okay, guys. So I put away my groceries, but I wanted to show you guys something. I had got this tray, um, I don't know, probably around November time, around Christmas time, like somewhere around there. I actually brought one for myself and one as a housewoman gift for a friend. Um, I am going to use this, well, I'm going to try to see if this works as a fruit tray or like vegetable tray. I have one, um, but it's kind of big and I don't have a lot of space in this apartment. So that one is packed up, but I do have this one, which is a lot smaller. And if you can see, people have more like a decorative tray, but we're going to see if we can use this as a fruit tray. So I'm going to set you guys up and show you guys how I plan on putting the fruit and stuff on it because I need something to hold my like vegetables. So we're gonna try to see if this can be a kitchen tray.
much your presence here. If there's anything that is not. Get it, get it going. We don't need no one. Say so, I'll take you to Mars. It's worth it. See it in the stars. I'ma do it, keep you warm next to me. Two thousand years later. Hey, you guys! It is days later. Um, so much has happened um, pertaining to this weight loss journey that I supposedly just started. Um, today is Friday. Um, I think the last time you guys see me, it was Sunday. So I pretty much been taking nifedipine every single day. I started recording like what I was eating, stuff like that. Um, but during the week, I did have orientation on Thursday, and I also have a um, drug test for another job uh, today. Yesterday, I went to orientation. Um, everything was going good. They did an on-site drug test, and I failed that drug test because of the Um It is a prescription. However, I'm trying to get a job right now, and I failed it. So that really sucks. So I'm going to have to not take Dupinamine because I need the job more than I need to lose a couple pounds that way. I could just get on the treadmill if that's the case. So um, we got some bumps in the road. Um, it's not a total weight loss journey fail. Um, we're just going to be doing it a different way. I have a drug test today at um, LabCorp's. Um, I had to go to LabCorp yesterday too because... When I did the drug test, they did it on site, and I told them I had a prescription medication. They looked at it, and then they said they wanted further testing. So then we had to stop what we were doing, me and another girl. Um, same thing happened to her, but she actually was vaping. So I don't know what's going to happen with her, but um, we went to lab LabCorp, and we took additional testing, and then they sent us home. And now we have to wait. So I don't know about that job, so that kind of sucks because I don't do drugs, so... I should <laughs> I shouldn't even have to worry about that but um yeah I have another test today for a hospital job and I'm really really hoping that I don't fail this drug test I've been drinking a lot of water I've been I drink three bottles of water um and some tea and a bunch of other stuff and I'm just trying to flush out my system hopefully I don't fail it um I'm dressed again to go to lab course I have an appointment at 10 it is 7.30 right now, and I have a walkthrough tour interview at 1 o'clock, so I will keep y'all posted, but that's what's been going on. It's always something, isn't it? Hey, you guys. It is a little bit later. Um, sitting in the car. Just got finished doing both my lab tests, um, my PPD, and drug screen for this job, so I am crossing my fingers that um, I pass it so that I don't get rejected. Um, anyways, I'm about to go to this interview. I still got, I'm pretty early still, but I'm in the area so I don't wanna go back home. So I'm just gonna hang around here. Right now there's like an Ulta. Um, there's a new place I've never seen. It's called Macy's, what is it called? 
Market by Macy's. I don't know if anyone's ever seen that before, but I haven't. It says now open and it looks like it has a Starbucks in it. Is that Macy's got a grocery store? I'm so confused. Anyway, um, we're about to go in there and see what that's like. Um, just wasting some time and then it's gonna be pretty much the end of the vlog because I don't got nothing going on and after this I'm gonna go home and do some C CEUs which is boring so yeah um, I might go to the gym later depending on like how I'm feeling um, my complex has uh, they redid their gym and I still haven't seen it yet since they did it so hopefully um, I'll make it to the gym I might put some clips of that in but if not I will see y'all in the next one marketplace or whatever it's actually another store it kind of set it's kind of set up like Nordstrom's or is it no no like Saks Fifth, Fifth Avenue that's the way it's set up just like that um like they have stuff lower regular price but like some stuff on sale I don't know um but yeah it's set up like a Saks um I did buy something from there I got some Steve Madden sneakers I'll show y'all in the next vlog I'm about to go to the gym but yeah I got my little gym fit on I'm struggling y'all I do not want to go like I don't want to work out at all um, but I'm gonna go to the gym and do my workout um, so I will see y'all in the next vlog probably um, because I'm already tired and I know that um, I'm going to be even more tired when I finish. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh,